Hi everyone and welcome, welcome back to another video. So in this video I'm going to be showing you the books that I have read but there's a twist. So I read all of just Addie's favourite books and it was a fun time, let's just say that. So this is part one because I still haven't read some and I wanted to split it up a bit because there was a lot. Yeah, so how many books do I have here? I have four books and a series to show you guys and show you my review. So let's just get right on to this video. Okay, so the first book is The Love Hypothesis by Hazelwood. Now, this book I really enjoyed actually. I didn't think I would because I thought, well, it's about a scientist and it just seems like a lot. But actually, it was really good. Now, the science talk that was in it, there was only a little bit, but the science talk that was there did confuse me a little bit, but it wasn't the main plot. It didn't bother me too much because I was just too focused on the romance. So, this is about Olive and Adam. And Olive is, like, trying to convince her best friend to date her old crush. So, she decides to like randomly kiss adam who's a professor because she wants to like I said, convince her friend like you can date like olive's old crush and i won't care so yeah it's fake dating trope it's really really good now i've heard some people say that this book is like really spicy it's not it so it has one chapter and that's it so if you're not into like that like spicy book this will be good for you because you can just skip that one chapter, which is chapter 17. So, yeah, very, very good read. The next book is Beach Read by Emily Henry. I recently read this and I did vlog it, but that vlog isn't up yet. So, this is about January and Gus. And I'm going to read the back and then I'll give you my opinion. So, January is a hopeless romantic who narr narrates her life like she's the lead in a blockbuster movie. Gus is a serious li literature type who thinks true love is a fairy tale. But January and Gus have more in common than you'd think. They're both broke. They have crippling writer's block and they need to write best or bestsellers before summer ends. So this I actually like really enjoyed more than I thought. But I rated this, I think it was four stars. I didn't think I'd like it as much as I did. So if you haven't read this yet, I highly, highly recommend some people I've seen compare, uh, compare Beach Read and People We Meet on Vacation slash in the UK, You and Me uh, on Vacation. I prefer You and Me on Vacation personally, but I still highly recommend this one. The next one is Verity by Colleen Hoover. This book. Like what did I read? I definitely rated this five stars. It was so, so good. Like one of my favorite Colleen Hoover books this was amazing and when I was reading it I was just speechless the whole time <laughs> like the things that happened in this book like wow so this is about Lowen and Jeremy and Jeremy is looking for someone to finish um his wife's Verity's book and obviously that's Lowen, and so Lowen goes there and finds this manuscript. So that's what I'm going to say about that. It's it's just amazing. The next book is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I read this one quite a while ago, if I'm being honest. But from what I remember, it's very, very sad. This is about Tate and Miles. And Miles is like a very closed off person because of some reasons. So they have this agreement. And... With the agreement, there can't be any physical attraction, there can't be any connection, there can't be any questions, and, it, like, eventually, it turns into something more. It's just so good. I did rate this five stars, and I did cry at something that happened in this book. So, I think it did its job. Then, the last books, because this is a series, and that is off-campus series. So, oh, this is definitely one of my favorite series it was my favorite series but i recently read another series which is now my favorite but this is like my second this is my second favorite series so we have the deal and then we have the mistake then we have the score then the goal and then the legacy so my favorites this is in order so my favorites were the deal then the score then the mistake, and then the goal. 
and then the legacy. So I have vlogged myself reading all of these, so if you want to check that out, I do have a playlist on my channel. So yeah, these are very, very good reads, and I highly recommend that you go and like, read them. So the hockey romances, so if you're into those kind of sport romances, then this is the read for you. So that is the end of part one. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe if you want. It's free and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye.